What is going on everybody? Welcome into Garage Life. I am Tyson and today I have the Arma Outcast right here which runs the same differentials as the Arma Creighton, uh, the EXB version. And I'm going to compare that over here to the Traxxas Sledge differentials. Now I already popped the back of these differentials open just so I could... I didn't want to sit on camera uh, with you guys trying to you know figure out how this rear differential on the sledge opens. I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, so I popped the backs of these open and we're going to go ahead and pull out the differentials now and we're going to give them a little comparison. So come on over here with me and let's pull open uh, this outcast. So as you can see here, we're just going to pull this cover off. See if I can do it one handed. Should be ready to pop off. Popped off. There we go. Let's see if we can get this diff out. One handed. As you can see, I got a good amount of grease up in there. I can never do these one handed because you got to pull them out equal at the same time. Sort of see what I'm doing. Just kind of grabbing each side and wiggling it on out. Plenty of shims and grease. Get it all greased up nice and good. There we go. So let me grab a rag here because I have the differential out. So let's pull out Traxxas one. It's kind of the same steps. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts in the back of the Traxxas one. Now I had a little bit of trouble getting the cover off, wiggling it back and forth. Um, there's a little bit of a, I'll show this to you here. So it goes on to the back of the truck like, like that. And this goes inside the diff above the, the gear. So if the gear is a little bit out of place, this spot has trouble going in. Uh, but other than that, not too hard. Same kind of concept. Pull out the differential, same thing. Uh, you just kind of wiggle and pull back up on out of here. And I like to do it so my wheels are turned a certain way so that the dog bones are basically facing front and back so they'll pop out of the drive cups when you wiggle the differential out. Here we are with the Traxxas one. So a lot of the same look. This uh, body, as you can see, kind of has a design to it. It's not round. It's got a, uh, I guess, a squarish design. Some different uh, different uh, does a little bit different design here. The bearings are definitely bigger. No shims on either side, and the ring actually goes in. Uh, opposite direction so the gear goes to the right side of the truck as to where in the arm it goes to the left side so they actually both go in like this so let's just look at the difference right right here in person the drive cup on the Traxxas is so much bigger that you can almost fit the Arma one completely inside of it um, if you can see the size difference in the bearings look like about the same thickness but the Traxxas ones are definitely bigger um, in diameter and then here you go with the ring. Quite a bit different of a size. So this handles 6S, sort of. But look how much bigger this tracks this one is over here. So just for fun, let's crack it open. Let's see what's inside of this tracks this one. First, let's make sure it's tight. I always like to just check these to see if they're tight. This looks like it's going to be a two millimeter. I'm 
So there's definitely a little bit of play in there that I can tighten these up. But for now, let's loosen them up. Look how long that is. If you have earphones on and I'm blind, uh, killing your ears. I'm sorry. But not really. Now my guess is these should come apart. There's no... There's no... Oh, gee, look at that. So there you go. We got a nice blue gasket in there. It looks like a rubber. It doesn't look cloth at all. And then look how big those bearings are. And it looks like... Let's see if I can dig around in here a little. I mean, it definitely could use more fluid. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. But I do like their cup, it's got a lip right here. So you have a lip right here, which is gonna help you align that gasket. Definitely not enough grease in there. And then here you go with this side of it. It's got these bevels right here. I don't see that they go in the... Oh, I bet they sit right here. They sit... They're going to sit right here on each of these sides to hold this down. So, interesting. Kind of interesting little design. And this just kind of lays right on. So you don't have to pry this apart like a lot of the other ones. You have to spend time prying them apart. Be careful when you're putting these things back together. My hands are all greasy now. This isn't a very good how-to video, is it? Let's get it started. Kind of go back at it. I kind of just wanted to look at the differences of all these because I'm probably going to be changing the oils out soon anyway. Definitely in the center diff. Uh, but I think front and rear I'm going to put something different in too. But I want to mess around with this a minute. I want to kind of keep it stock for a little bit. I have a lot of other things I want to do. Specifically, I want to... Finish my 3D printed wing mount. Now I just snug all these up a little bit. Not like even snug, just kind of to where they're starting to seat. Because I want to spin the diff to make sure that everything in there is still working. So now we got it basically hand tightened. I'm going to go around in a star pattern. Opposite pattern. Tighten these up. You don't have to like super duper torque these down, but they should be tight. So now I'm just using this without any power to do that. All right, so there you have it. There's the difference between the Traxxas one and the Arma one. Quite a big difference for both being 6L, right? Quite a big, big, quite a bit different. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you uh, on the next one. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, uh, and check out the website if you're interested. Uh, this differential looks pretty beefy and awesome. Um, kind of how a differential should be in our RC cars. So thanks for uh, checking this video out, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Stay tuned for more running videos. Yeah.